I'm Jordan Rayner, and this is the Word Before Work. Today we're reading from Genesis 1, 26 through 27. Here's what the passage says. Then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. We're in a series exploring three biblical truths that give us the courage to create and work boldly in uncertain times. In the last devotional, we saw how the truth that God works everything for our good gives us the courage to create. Today, we look at our second truth. We are made in the image of God who took the ultimate risk to create. Now, I know it can seem borderline heretical to claim that omnipotent, omniscient God is capable of taking a risk, but Pastor Timothy Keller argues that's precisely what we see God doing in Genesis 1 through 3. Keller says, quote, you can see the risks and the costs from the very beginning. God made the world filled with human beings made in his image, human beings with free will. So God made the world knowing what it was going to cost him, knowing what we were going to do, knowing that his son, Jesus Christ, was going to have to come into the world and experience what he experienced, end quote. When you and I work to create new businesses or or medicines or processes at work, there's obviously a lot of uncertainty. We are not omniscient. And thus, we do not know whether our creations will fail or whether or not they'll succeed. But God is omniscient. He is all-knowing. And when God created humankind, he knew precisely the risks he was taking. And yet, he still created out of a desire to share his love and glory with us. What's my point? Creation always requires risk and sacrifice. Risk isn't just right. Risk and sacrifice in the service of others is God-like. Looking ahead to the future, it feels like our world is more uncertain than ever before. It could be very easy to hold back, to risk less, to play it safe in our lives and our work. But is that really the example the Father holds out for us? You and I are made in the image of God who created knowing that he would have to send his son to earth that first Christmas day, only to be crucified some 30 years later. To serve others well, you may need to risk capital. You may need to risk a promotion or just simply being misunderstood. But none of us will risk more than God did when he created us. Let that truth Give us the courage to create boldly as a means of glorifying our Father today. Today's devotional only scratches the surface of how God's Word connects to our work. If you want to go deeper, sign up for my free 20-day devotional called The Word Before Work Foundations at twbwfoundations.com. These email devotionals are designed to help you gain a rich understanding of the biblical narrative of work, how exactly your work matters for eternity, and what those truths mean for how we ought to work today. Sign up right now, again, totally free at twbwfoundations.com.